Hello and welcome to Ion Africa. I'm Yena Lee and these are your headlines on the continent tonight. Gunmen killed dozens of people in two separate attacks in Nigeria. Villagers in Kaduna and security forces in Sokoto State fall victim to suspected Islamists and criminal gangs. Bangi's builders are back at construction sites, giving the city a facelift. In an industry dominated by men, we bring you a report on the women workers changing the landscape of the Central African Republic. And stay with us for a virtual tour of Leptis Magna. The archaeological site in Libya was considered to be one of the most beautiful cities of the Roman Empire. Let's start the uh, show in Nigeria. A group of armed men have killed at least 34 people in the state of Kaduna. Residents of the uh, small village of Madamai are still reeling from the violence. Eyewitnesses speak of machetes, burnt down houses and gunshots. Kaduna state is at the heart of a religious crisis. It's also an area where bandits are known to attack and kidnap locals. From Lagos, France 24's Sam Olukoya reports. The Kaduna State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruam, confirmed the killing of 34 persons in Kara local government area of Kaduna State. The attackers also injured seven persons and burnt down a number of houses. The gunmen withdrew after soldiers intervened. Two suspects have been arrested in connection with the incident. The killing of the 34 persons came a few hours after gunmen attacked a church. One person was killed in this incident, while several others were injured. Both attacks are believed to have been carried out by gunmen called bandits. The bandits are Muslims and they have carried out a number of attacks in the area. Their victims this time are Christians and this has heightened tension between Christians and Muslims in the area. A reprisal attack was carried out on a predominantly Muslim community in Zangun Kataf. Eight persons were killed while six others were injured. Several houses were burned down in this incident. The Kaduna State government said this attack was a reprisal. The growing tension between Christians and Muslims comes at a time the members of the jihadist group Boko Haram have been moving into Kaduna State, and it is believed they are teaming up with these bandits. Any alliance between Boko Haram and the bandits will surely heighten tension between Christians and Muslims in Kaduna State. Staying in Nigeria to a uh, separate attack, this time on an army base. Gunmen killed at least 17 security personnel in the northwestern state of Sokoto. Nigeria's army put the blame on suspected jihadists and bandits for the attack. Soldiers had uh, recently engaged in combat with members of the so-called Islamic State West Africa province in the same region. To the uh, latest on the political situation in Mali, the interim prime minister, Shugwell Maiga, told our colleagues at France 24 and RFI that elections could be postponed by weeks or even months. The West African economic bloc ECOWAS had pressured the transitional team to organise polls within 18 months. That would be at the end of February. Ce que nous avons expliqué à nos partenaires de la CDAO, c'est que nous allons procéder de la manière inverse cette fois-ci. Nous allons identifier les actions, les opérations pratiques à mener jusqu'aux élections. À partir de là, on pourrait tomber sur le 27 février, comme on peut avoir deux semaines, quelques mois de plus. Le plus important pour nous, c'est de tirer les leçons du passé. Pendant 20 ans, nous nous sommes trouvés dans des crises politiques post-électorales. Et le dernier soulèvement populaire qui a conduit au renversement du régime est parti de la contestation des résultats des élections. Donc pour ne pas tomber dans les mêmes erreurs, nous avons décidé d'avoir une démarche qui minimise les risques de contestation des élections. Ethiopia's Minister for Women, Children and Youth has handed in her resignation. In a statement on Twitter, Filsen Abdullahi wrote that she's regretfully standing down for personal reasons that, quote, weigh heavily on her conscience. Last month, she had confirmed that rape was taking place in the Tigray conflict, though she had said police were uh, doing their best. Back then, she added that she wished the justice system would work faster. 
Next, the uh, man known as the Colonel of the Apocalypse for his role in the Rwandan genocide has died. Teonest Bagasora passed at the age of 80 in a Malian hospital over the weekend. He was serving a 35-year sentence for genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes. 800,000 people, mostly Tutsis, were murdered in Rwanda in 1994. At the time, Bagasora was the highest-ranking official under the defence minister. Let's head over next to the uh, Central African Republic. Insecurity and an electoral crisis had chased away many investors, but now economic activity is resuming and construction sites have reopened. Around the world, building is a uh, male-dominated sector, and it's no different in Bangui. Some women, though, are finding opportunities in the industry and inspiring others to do the same. Our reporter, Clemente Roma, went to meet the women breaking stereotypes. Brick by brick, Central African Republic's capital is getting a facelift. After decades of instability, construction sites are once again flourishing throughout Bangui, executed and managed by new workers. I need to level up here, otherwise it's going to affect the works. Evody is 24 years old. She is one of the few female civil engineers in the country. She says she has to prove her skills on the job every day. When you're a young woman, to give orders here to the workers, it's complicated. The men can't stand it, but that's the job. They have to submit to the orders so that the project can move forward. Completing projects and also passing on knowledge to would-be engineers, Evody is sharing her passion with her intern guiding on trainee to succeed in an industry as flourishing in our country. We have the same ideas and the same ambitions, so she inspires me. A lot of women think it's a boy's job, but they're wrong. It's easy for us if you give it your all. Here is the manager who gave them their big break. Yashian Hu is the manager of one of the largest construction companies in the country, which is behind this 4 million euro project. There are excellent women in the country with lots of skills. We try to support them. In China, we say women hold the path to the sky. We should be doing everything together. In the same neighborhood, on the third floor of a building which will soon have five, we meet Leonel Pagen. She's been a scrap metal worker for six years already, a job that allows her to feed her family. I noticed that few women did this job. So I decided to learn and train and now I am a skilled worker. Women must dare and arm themselves with courage to develop the country. Evody, Jennifer and Leonel, this new generation of builders remain an exception in the Central African Republic, one of the worst countries in the world in terms of gender equality, according to the United Nations. Next, it's a uh, cultural jewel you might never have heard of. Once among the Roman Empire's most beautiful cities, Leptis Magna in Libya has been neglected and shunned by tourists for decades. This amid the chaos that has fraught the country. Now, a year-long lull in violence has sparked hopes that Libya can move on and uh, some see the potential for Leptis Magna's rebirth. Emerald Maxwell has the story. For more than 2,000 years, it survived successive waves of conquerors. Once one of the most beautiful cities of the Roman Empire, Leptis Magna has also been mostly spared the violence that's racked Libya since the 2011 revolt. But it faces another threat, neglect. The threats that the city faces are indirect and come in different forms. There is the lack of supplies, which never existed in the first place, the fact that archaeological digs have been interrupted, the virtually non-existent means and support from the government. Founded in the 7th century BC by Phoenician sailors, then conquered by Rome, Leptis Magna was the birthplace of Septimius Severus, who rose to become emperor. With well-preserved ruins, including a large basilica, a racecourse and an amphitheatre overlooking the Mediterranean, it has tourism potential. And yet there's barely a visitor in sight. Tourism is scarce in Libya. We're not set up for it. For instance, the city's train needs to be maintained for transportation for tourists, 
passageways needs to be paved. We need more lighting on air conditioning in the summer. After 10 years of conflict and state collapse, Libya's current unity government has other priorities. But leftist Magna's custodians hope that with an October 2020 ceasefire largely holding, the site will finally attract the attention it deserves. And finally, uh, Kenya's star midfielder Victor Wanyama has announced his retirement from international football. The 30-year-old played for Celtic, Southampton, Tottenham, among others. And you might remember his uh, stunning 2018 goal against Liverpool that won him the Spurs Goal of the Month award. Wanyama also represented his country on the national stage and international stage for 15 years, playing 52 games for Kenya. That's it from all of us here on the Eye on Africa team. Thank you for watching. Thanks very much for staying with us. Time now for Eye on Africa with me, Georgia Calvin Smith. Reporting from across West Africa. All the latest in politics, economics and the arts in Africa on France 24. Our journalists are in every region, every country, to report on the emergence of a continent of unparalleled riches. Bringing you Africa's stories on France 24. Thanks for joining us. Peace again. Liberté, égalité, actualité. Familia de Trogoli, venir beaucoup pour les lapidants. Bienvenidos a las noticias de France 24. Thanks very much for joining us. And um, before... Hello, Mekon Fi, Thakafa, Fi Adad Alian. Ravi de vous retrouver pour Afrique Hebdo au programme cette semaine. Nous n'avons pas de l'Afrique ou de l'autre. Bien rétablir sur la médiatrice. This storm has hit New York City. A lot of hard work to be a president. Tres, dos, uno. Madagascar fait face à une seconde vague meurtrière. Almost 99 million of you watch us every week. So thank you. Shukran. Gracias. Your confidence means a lot to us. Muchas gracias. Shukran, ala hadhi al-thiqa. Thank you. Merci du fond de mon cœur. Liberté, égalité, actualité.